Let me show you how to calculate potential energy, gravitational potential energy. Uh, here's this mass, and in this picture I've taken the mass. It was sitting on the surface, and I've lifted it up some distance h. Okay. Now, to derive the formula for the energy, all I have to do is calculate the amount of work needed to lift that mass. So that's pretty simple. This is called the work energy theorem, right? So the work I do is F times S, and that's going to be the change in potential energy, right? And this is the IB symbol for potential energy. The rest of the world says PE for potential energy, right? Okay, so this is actually the simplest formula to derive. Um, the work is the change in, this is by the way called the work energy theorem. If we do work on an object, the object gains an amount of energy equal to the amount of work we do, right? Um, work equals the change in potential energy is equal to force times distance. And the force to lift this at a constant speed is just simply its, its weight, right? So it's the force is mg, and then the distance that we lifted is delta h, right? Like that, right? And so we get this formula that looks like this. Okay, so this is the IB formula. You should probably write that down. Okay, uh, this is the gravitational potential energy. That thing is in joules. Change in height is, of course, in meters. Mass is in kilograms. And G is newtons per kilogram. Right? Okay, so if I lift, a, say it's a 5 kilogram mass. Right? So let's say 5.0, right? And I lift it two meters in the air, okay, then the energy is going to be um, 5.0 kilograms times 9.81 newtons per kilogram, right, times 2.0 meters, right, and then this is uh, reliably, well, what is that, 98.1, right, isn't it? We don't need a calculator for that. I'm getting my calculator out, right? Okay, that's going to be uh, 98.1. Uh, and then the units are kilograms. Go the way of the bison. You get newton meters, so that's joules. And then if we if we had uh, two sig figs all the way across, we'd have to say 98. But there it is, right? Okay. And then most of the time, we're going to write this thing this way. We're just going to say PE is mgh, right? But but it really does work this way, right? The change in potential energy is equal to the mg times the change in height, okay? Um, that's all you need to know. I'll do some examples, but I'll put those in the next videos.